Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we will be discussing the problem split array largest sum. So here in this problem you are given an array and you need to split it into k parts. Okay or I can say that k sub arrays such that each element belongs to either of the sub array and the maximum sum maximum sum should be the minimum what is the Lehman's term of this that you need to minimize all the sum of all the key parts this is what they want if you are not understanding this for example if you are given something like 1 2 3 4 and you are told to divide it into how many parts three parts so i would say i would divide it in this i would divide it in this and i would divide it by this and the maximum sum out of three parts is four and this is it the four would be my answer so before we move forward let's take an example so i don't know how many of you used to get pocket money in your childhood but if i talk about mine i was given two rupees or five rupees at max and my bonus was or let's say my pocket money was that like there was no concept of pocket money from my parents the pocket money i used to earn was from the negotiation i did with the shopkeepers so whatever money like they told me to buy potatoes for 10 rupees and I got it for 8 rupees, 2 would be my profit and that would be my pocket money. So I'll, I have a go very good nego negotiation skills and I do negotiate a lot till today. Okay. So let's just jump back to this problem. So the idea is, let's say that your father told you that in a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, you can spend at max 30 rupees and how much pocket money is allocated like the Gen Z people like let's say uh, a Gen Z person is getting a pocket money of let's say 100 rupees and his father told him see see I don't want you to get spoiled so don't spend more than 30 rupees in one day either you your habit would be destroyed like you would be like I don't want this let's say your father told you don't want this I calculated that even if I spend so, and I don't want to save on any pocket money. Why? Because I'm still a child. Like I'm still a very young boy, not a man. And I have no worries about the future. I want to live my life. And I want to utilize all my pocket money. So I just want to see if, if any of the pocket money I would be saving or not. If I just want to know if I would save things, something or not. If I just utilize the full potential of what my father told me. So if my father told me that you can spend at max 30 on each day, and I just keep it on the edge. We have a habit in the teenage. We keep it on the edge. Let's say I spend 30 rupees on each day. So for 7 days, I would be spending 210 rupees. And I told my father, Father, in spite of saving from what you are giving, I would require me, I would require more. So your father lowered down. So your father now told you, Okay, I would lower down it a bit. Instead of 20, you can spend at max, instead of 30, you can spend at max 20. I told, okay, let's see. 20 multiplied by 7 is 140, which is still more than 100. So my father lowers his down again. So now it is telling me to 15. 7 multiplied by 15 is how much? 15 multiplied by 7, 7, 5 is 35, 105. Still it is a little bit more. It would still require more money if I am living on the edge. I might don't my father don't want to spend more like my father fixed uh, he's on uh, like he is very strict and he would I'll allow at max 100 and he wants to keep me on a budget which would be inside his budget so he told let's just lower it down more let's say 10 and I told okay if I spend at max 10 rupees on each day I would be spending at max 70 and yes my father is now happy 
because I would be saving 30 rupees and I would be obeying him. After obeying him, I would be spending 30 rupees, 70 rupees and I would be saving 30 rupees. My father is happy now. I am happy now because I am respecting my father. I am saving my money. And if I am following my father strictly, of course, which no one does in his childhood or teenage. The idea seems pretty good. Okay. Like, the thing is, that if you fix a max budget and if it is not within our budget, we would just lower it down. Okay. But Sadat, what are you trying to tell me? So, my objective, let's just come to this picture. My objective is to divide the array in k parts. And out of the k parts, the maximum sum of any of the part should be the minimum possible. So I can, just like my father did, I can have a minimum criteria, a minimum criteria or a minimum budget. I can have a minimum budget to everything. Okay. Let's say the given example is 1, 2, 3, 4. I need to divide it into three equal parts. So first I took hold and told him that Siddharth, can you keep the max minimum sum as 7? I told, okay, let's see. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's say I just have it here. Okay. Let's say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How much is this? 4 plus 3, 7. 7 plus 2, 9, 8, 9, 10. Let's just say, let's see, the maximum sum would be my, the max I can spend. Like let's say my pocket money is 100. So at max I can spend on one day is 100. So let's say I did this. So first I would try to have the minimum sum as 10. And then we, we would see if we can do it or not. I would say, okay, 1, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 4, 10. Yes, I can have 10. So, this is true. I can have 10. So, I want the sum to be minimum. So, let's just take it for 9 also. Okay, let's just check it for 9. So, 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. This is 6 plus 4 would be 10. So, this is the very first one. Like, the very first one, this is this. And the second one is this. This is also possible. So I'm, I want the minimum value. So I would just start, start lowering it down. Then I would try it for 8. Is 8 possible? 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 3, 6. Yes, again this is possible. True. Again, 7, this is possible. 3 plus 3, 6, again this is possible. 6, again it is possible. Here we would have it as 6 and here we would have it as 4. The maximum sum of one sub array is 6. Good enough. Then we would try it for 5. And yes, we can also do it. 3 plus 2, we would have here something like this, have here something like this, and have it something like this. This is also possible. So we would say, yes, it is also possible. Then we would try it for 4. It is possible. It is also possible. Then we are getting more hungry. We would keep moving forward. Can we do it for more? 3. It is possible. No. The minimum sum 3 can't be achieved because the minimum element is 4 only. The max, this element size is only 4 which is greater than the budget we are looking for. This is not possible. So, if 3 is not possible, so less than 3 obviously won't be possible. And what we want? We want the value of this, okay? So whenever we have something like f, f, t, 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 or t, 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 f, f, or only t, 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 or only f, 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 then this is what? This is something known as monotonic function. Monotonic function, okay? And if you see a monotonic function, you would need to learn this by heart 
that this problem is of binary search okay like we would give it a have a range we would check it for 10 if 10 is possible then we would go to the mid of 10 mid of 1 plus 10 divided by 2 that is 11 divided by 2 it is 5.5 .5. taking the integer division we would try it for 5 again if again this mid value is true then again 1 plus 5 that is 6 6 divided by 5 is equals to 3 so we would now check it for 3 this is not possible okay so what I let's just do it again see how binary search would be applicable to this first we would have from 1 to 10 what is 10 10 is the maximum sum which is nothing but sum of the array and this is 1 okay they, we know that there is no negative values in here so now we would say that this is low this is high low plus high divided by 2 integer division of it would go to 5 is 5 possible if it is possible what we would do is we would make h is equals to mid minus 1 we have made here mid so now this is the high this is the high now 1 plus 4 divided by 2 which is 2.5 2.5 the integer division is 2 and if we go to 2 the value is false so we would make the low go to mid plus 1 now 3 plus 4 divided by 2 is equals to 7 that is 3.5 we would go to 3, we would check, it is not possible, so low is equals to mid plus 1, so now low would be sitting here, and this is it. Now again, we would check low plus high divided by 2, which is equals to 4, it is possible, yes, it is possible, so then, if it is possible, low would be mid minus 1, so high would come here, when high is coming here, you know, you remember the loop in the binary search while low is less than equal to high. Whenever this would become true, the last updated answer would be my answer itself. This is what we would do. We would have a check function which would just take a sum and tell if it is possible to divide the value in the given or not. Let's just first implement that. So how would we implement the check function? We would implement the check function as it is. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's say the given value is 4. So we would start with 0 sum. Then the sum is equal to 0, 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 3 plus 3 is now equal to 4. So now count from 1, it would become 2. And sum would again reset to 0. Now again we start 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. And now 3 plus 4 would be equal to 7, which is greater than the prescribed value that is 4. So we would again increment the count and then we would again increment the count to 0. Then again 4, it is possible, so we would keep it. At the end, we see that the count is 3 and it is less than or equal to the value k. And we would say, yes, it is possible. Okay. Now we would move forward with this. Same thing. Now we would finish early, we would say the count is equal to 0 and the sum is equal to 0 and then we would use a for each loop to iterate on the array. We would say that if any of the element value is only if e is greater than k, then we would return a false value that this is not possible. If any of like we saw 4, na, we were trying to do it with 3 and we have an element only as 4, so that is not possible. So we would return 0 at this point and then we would add the sum sum plus equals to e and if at any point the sum is greater than the given value mid if at any point it becomes that then we would increment the value c plus plus and then the sum is equal to e okay done for the day and end at the end I just I forgot to initialize it one if in the end the count is less than or equal to k if we can bridge that then we would return true 
else we would return false okay this is the check function and rest everything would be same as binary search i'm a lazy person as you know now i would say int low is equal to 1 int low is equal to 0 and high is equal to 0 and then we would have the sum so for auto e of a and high plus equals to e we were having the sum of that now the answer the last updated answer would be my answer so now i would start while so the same while loop while low is less than equal to high and then we would have the answer end mid is equals to low plus high divided by 2 and then we would say if check of mid then a then n then k if this thing is possible we would update the answer that answer is equals to mid and high is equal to mid minus 1 else low is equals to mid plus 1 okay because we have already checked out mid and then we would return the answer itself so the array here is a pointer i think yes so now we need to just use a for loop for everything for int i is equals to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus and at this stage we would just say int e is equals to a of i this is done then we have something like this we need to do the same thing at this instance okay now just compare and see how many errors are we making so i made a very small mistake in the if statement that if at any point the any value is greater than the given sum and i took the value of k not the mid this was my mistake so i took 5 or 10 minutes to just you have the debugging statement i just commented i didn't remove it so that you have a transparency after all so so now let's just compile it and see how many errors are we making or let's just submit this because i've already debugged this and yes we got an ac that's it for today this is me siddharth hazra signing off thank you everyone